the year 1848, the western half of the United States was a wild and unsettled land. But new gold deposits were discovered in California, and thousands of Americans were lured across the plains to seek their fortunes. By 1849, the rivers and streams were lined with miners searching for flakes and nuggets of placer gold that could be mined with simple tools. Tent cities sprang up overnight to supply the needs of the miners, and gold became the magic word that changed the history of our nation. The miners of 49 were adventurous young men who came west to strike it rich. It was a happy day for those who wrote, Today, my search was rewarded. Gold was found in the pan. The gold pan was the basic mining tool used by the early miners. It provided a simple method of separating the lighter dirt and sand from the heavy nuggets and flakes of placer gold that were found in the rich river deposits. When a miner struck pay dirt, he staked off a claim according to the laws and customs of the local mining camp. Usually, the miner was required to erect a claim post in the center of his claim and mark the boundaries in a manner established by the miner's council. Although life was rough and difficult in the mining camps of 49, the miners respected the rights of their companions. Mining tools left on a claim were a sign of active ownership, and laws established in common council protected each man's claim. The miners soon found that washing gold with the pan was a slow process. The cradle or rocker was used to wash larger amounts of gravel to separate the gold. The rocker could be made by hand from materials found along the river. Wooden bars called riffles were fitted into the bottom of the rocker to capture the gold and a hopper with a perforated iron screen was fastened on top to hold the sand and gravel. Water washed the sand and gold through the screen and carried the lighter materials away, leaving the heavier sand and gold trapped behind the riffle bars. The 
miner cleaned the heavier material out of the rocker, then used his pan to separate the gold from the sand. In their search for a way to wash out larger quantities of the river deposits, the miners developed a tool they called a long tom. The long tom was made in two sections, an upper section called the tom and a lower section called the riffle box. The miners used the power of the river to separate the sand, gravel and gold they dumped into the tom. sand and gold were washed through an iron screen in the lower end of the tom into the riffle box. Here the flakes and nuggets of gold were trapped behind the riffle bars. The sluice box was the most efficient tool used by the placer miners. A series of riffle boxes were set together and water power was used to wash out large quantities of placer deposits. Because of their length, the sluice boxes caught more gold behind the riffles than any other placer mining tool. The gold rush that began in 49 brought statehood for California and encouraged men to search the entire world. Their search for gold and sudden wealth resulted in the rapid settlement of the West and extended the authority of the United States to the Pacific Ocean.